Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Look At. Today we're going to be playing some Kitty Apocalypse, a tower defense game made especially for VR. Now, I will explain the control system as soon as we get into the game. I'm going to have to actually skip this quickly because I don't, no, I don't want to go into the third mission. I did record a previous episode of this, but I, uh, when I played it back, I realized that the game audio was so loud, you could barely even hear me. So, round two, I guess. We're going to go back to Okinawa Tree. It is a... Uh, is she going to read it? Let's see if she reads it. No, it's just going to put us straight back into the mission. Bit of a shame. But basically, our objective here is to defend plants that we are pause 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 and the plants that we're here to harvest now as we are cracking on let us go through the controls so we'll start with the left controller here you can see this little uh, on the touchpad here you have these four different segments these different segments allow you to turn in turn or go forward and backwards in whichever direction you're facing and the trigger button is used to basically grab and drag the map around so you can uh, move wherever you want. One more thing for the left controller. Well, okay, two more things. Hey, this controls uh, the pause button, the menu button here. You can't actually see, but I am pressing. Pauses and unpauses the game and it shows how much money we have to spend. Now, our objective in this is to basically not lose. And there are bonus objectives. The bonus objectives in this one is to spend less than 10,000 gold. Money, gold money. And um, to not lose any more than eight segments. So you can see here, this is our center. Just uh, readjust this. This is our center. Each one of these squares, every time a kitty gets into here, one of these squares will go red. If they all go red, we lose. So... Uh, anything else? Oh yes, one more thing. The second thing that I was going to go through. These grip uh, pads here, if you hold them, you'll see this little cylindrical pill looking thingy on the ground and you can press the trigger button and it will teleport you there. Really cool, right? Now, right controller. Uh, basically this controller is just for buying things. So you hover over one of these spots, click on it with the trigger, and here we go, turrets. So far, that's basically all I've seen a use for. Oh, you can also... Okay, you can use the menu button on the right one to pause as well. No, I don't want to restart level. Oh, pause, please. No, okay, no, 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 it doesn't... It pauses the game because it brings up this option menu. Gotcha. Pause. So, let's go through turrets. There are several different turrets here. Each one of these can be upgraded several different times. Where am I? In... There we go. Yes, so, for example, I'm going to build a Gatling gun here. See that? No, pause, please. I'm... Okay, it won't build unless it's playing. Gotcha. So, we've now built a Gatling gun. Pretty cool. Uh, and this Gatling gun, once finished building, let's deploy. Construction completed. We can click on it again with the trigger button on the right controller. Okay, you are paused. Good. And you can see here... There are different routes you can go down to unlock different capabilities. So, for example, there's a twin shredder here. Is it two, well, sporting twin revolving barrels for double the awesomeness? That's right. And the second one is heavy gatling, increased range and destructive power. That is actually currently locked, so we can't unlock that. There are, of course, other towers available to us, so we're going to do that. Please stop unpausing whenever I do anything. I'm going to try and do this similarly to how I did it in the uh, last video that I made, which will not be aired. But uh, I completed the bonus objectives except one, which is do not spend more than 10,000 uh, gold. I'm going to keep calling it gold, it's just easier. Uh, yes, I only let one through, I think. I guess technically two, but only one of them changed. Um, here we're going to build... You know what, I'm going to build another Gatling gun here. Right, 
So, before we actually get started with the first wave, this this is actually a 20 wave mission, so there's quite a lot of waves. Uh, turn around a little bit so I don't have to keep turning around the room. So, here we go. Enemies! Little kitties! Hello, little kitty! Right, you can click on them. Okay, I can't click on them because they're inside their protective bubble. But each... Uh, I'll click on them when they come out. So, we'll unpause. Construction completed. There we go. We'll pause again. So, you can come down here, click on a kitty, and it will bring up their... kitty type? The character sheet? So, this is a standard alien kitty. Unarmored. 4.5 speed, I guess the standard speed. It tells you how much reward you get for killing one. It gives you kill tips, what guns are good against it. And later on, you'll see armoured enemies that have immunities to certain weapon types. Now, since this is only the second mission of the game, enemies are pretty simple. I did see some new enemies that I haven't seen before. Can we please back, Hold on. back up? Back up! Okay, I guess we can't back up whilst we put that screen open. So, here comes the first wave. Second wave is coming down. It will not trigger unless we click on that uh, bubble or a certain amount of time passes. So, that cat, uh, catling gun. See what I did there? Cats, kittens, catling guns. Uh, catling guns are going to shred these guys up pretty easily. Um, right, what else? Can we build anything? We can build something else. We built one, uh, spent 1,000 so far. So, I'm going to do another catling gun. It's 1500. Need to try and keep track of. Gonna trigger the second wave Construction as well. Construction completed. Need to try and keep track of how much we're spending just so we don't go over that 10,000 uh, gold threshold. But three Gatling cannons should be enough to deal with these. Now, there is full damage in this uh, game for kitties. I will explain that a little bit more once we get uh, one of our next weapon types. Oh, that's loud. So loud. I'm hoping the recording will actually not be as loud this time just because, uh, you know, because uh, this is my second video already. Okay, so let's pause it quickly. Let's go over to these kitties. You can see here, these kitties are in, in little cardboard boxes. No, isn't that cute? So if we click on it, this is actually a lightly armored enemy. They give us a slightly more money. Uh, the speed slightly reduced, obviously, because they're armoured. And these actually have different kill tips. These are d different weapons used for these. The more armoured enemies, are, um, the Gatling cannons will basically be useless to them because um, basically armour protects against bullets. Probably the simplest way I could describe that. We will start upgrading stuff once we have the money. There is one more thing I actually want to build before we start upgrading things. Which I will show you, which I can actually show you right now. So over here, we're going to build... This is a slightly different setup than the one I did last time. So 1500, 2500. We're going to build this blob accelerator. It's a anti-gravity... It fires anti-gravity blobs. Uh, lift enemies up into the air. And as I said slightly earlier, there is full damage in this game. So they will get lifted up into the air. When the bubble bursts, they will drop down and take damage. How much money? We've got 700. The next wave is incoming. These here, these are scouts. They run a hell of a lot faster than... Can I click on you from here? I can. Yeah, see, they've got a speed of 9. Double that of the... Oh. Their armor is enhanced spandex. Gotcha. Am I still... We're good, we're good, we're good. So, um... What's I saying? Oh, yes, their speed is double that of the standard kitties, but their reward is a hell of a lot more. Now, we have three Gatling Cannons and the Blob Accelerator, which, as you can see, it grabbed that enemy there, and it was starting to lift up, but they got absolutely annihilated. So, we can't really showcase that until... There we go. See, it's been lifted. Basically, renders them immobile, so they can't move. Uh, how much money do we have? 1,400. We're going to upgrade this one. No, we're not. No, we're not. First of all, what I'm going to do... I'm going to build some laser towers, because as I said, I have been through this mission before. I do know that's 3,000, 3,500. I do know that there are going to be armoured enemies um, completed. a little later on, which will require laser turrets to deal with. Now, so how much have we spent? 3,000, did I say? I think it was 3,000. So, we have 7,000 to play with. Each one of these to upgrade costs 1,400. Probably going to upgrade two of these. 
upgrade two of these, upgrade those two, which cost... Uh, we're probably going to go for a beam laser. Um, yeah, see, the, like the twin pulse laser is good for cleaning up wounded enemies. Armoured enemies aren't going to be wounded by these three Gatling uh, turrets. So we're probably going to go for the beam laser on those, so... Well, it's 2400 plus... Plus uh, 2800. What's that? What's that? My maths is bad. 5200, so... That will take us up to five, uh, 8200, I believe. I'm not going to upgrade the Blob Accelerator. It costs a hell of a lot to upgrade, and I feel like in this mission it's not really worth it. Oh, so far, we are on wave 5 of 20. We're doing pretty well. Can I upgrade you yet? No, 1400 for you. 1200 for these, right? 1200 for those, yeah. So, a lot more scouts coming in now. They're so fast. They are so fast. There was actually a scout, I think, that got through my defences and actually got to the centre there. So you can see them there. Wow, wow, wow. Is contested. Wow. Okay, so I think only one got through there. Yep, so you can see one of those uh, squares is turned red. If we lose more than eight, we won't get the bonus. Um, start upgrading some things. Upgrade you to a twin shredder. That's all we can do for now. Next wave. Upgrade complete. Woo! Getting toasty in here. So more armored enemies. Luckily, no scouts. The next wave does have a considerable amount of scouts. Let's go down to our tower and watch it decimate. Kitties! Kill the kitties! Don't let them through! No! Stop them! You do your job! Awesome, see, no problem whatsoever. So we have, I see you can upgrade one of these now to a beam laser. 500 gold left. Upgrade complete. Next wave. Storming through these waves. A lot of scouts. Please take care of the scouts. My next purchase is probably going to be another upgraded Gatling Tower. Probably that one, since it's closer to the center. There will be a better fallback point to defend from whatever comes. Oh, money, money, kill one more. Money, there we go. We're going to upgrade you to a twin trailer. And wait for the... Oh, trigger the next wave, I guess. Upgrade complete. So, there is a new enemy tile. I don't know if you can see that from here. Well, let's, let's quickly pause it and go down to these keys. This, this guy here. He is a ninja. Heavily armoured enemy. So, you can see here, this enemy has immunities. Armour-piercing Gatlings. Pulse turbo lasers, fragmentation missiles, light shrapnel missiles, and acid mines. So the kill tips for this are beam lasers, which is exactly why I'm trying to get out of this. No, no, please let me. That is exactly why we were upgrading these here to um, focus beam lasers, because they're going to be very helpful against these heavily armored enemies, which we will be seeing more of throughout this mission. But let's see. This is this is the good thing about having this blob accelerator. It basically stun locks the enemy. They can't. He can't move forward now because he's been stun locked by that. And the Gatling uh, turrets do have like a push, like a knockback effect. And as I was saying earlier, full damage. You will see this guy when he eventually falls. I don't have a lot of uh, money. Boom! See, pretty much he's almost dead. But you can also see that these turrets are not doing anything to him. But I really wish my turrets would focus on the scouts, please. Thank you. So, that kitty there, he, he's done for. He's basically, he's stun locked to a point where he can't actually get any closer. But he's probably going to die from that, which is, you know, cool, I guess. Fine by me. Oh my god, he didn't die. You're a lucky kitty. What? If you can't tell already, here is where the problem lies. Because all these turrets are focusing on these enemies, when the next wave spawns, which it will do, I'll, I'll let this one spawn on its own. There you go. You can see this time it ticks up, and when it gets to the top, the next wave will come in. As I was saying, because they are focusing on these, they're not going to be focusing on them. I mean, I don't think they have priority targeting in this game, but they do change. Maybe it's the closest enemy to them that triggers it. 
I'm going to upgrade this second laser cannon to a beam laser. And then I'm going to upgrade this one once we have enough money. And then I'm going to pull that there. That should be enough to hold us out until the end of the uh, level here. So I'm just going to trigger the next wave. Because this is ridiculous. But you can see the beam laser is now targeting, kind of. Why? You should be targeting. Why are you not targeting? Full damage! He didn't take any full damage. That disappoints me. Kill the scouts! Kill the scouts! Kill the scouts! Oh damn it, kill the scouts! There we go. You can see his life force is going down because of the beam laser. Very, very important to have those against armored enemies. But he's done for. He's done for. He's done for. They're all done for. But I do have enough money to upgrade this. So I'm going to upgrade this now. We don't shouldn't need him for... Kill that last one. And we're going to trigger the next wave. Uh, a lot of scouts and a lot of standard kiddies. Kill the kiddies! Woohoo! Kill all the kiddies! Please kill the scouts, quickly. As I said, I'm not going to upgrade anything else because I shouldn't need anything else. It would be nice to upgrade that, but we're on a tight budget. And that costs 1800 uh, gold to upgrade. Which I believe is what will put us over the uh, threshold. Right, we're, we are storming through these waves. Come on! Then more! Let me kill more kitties. That's really evil, isn't it? That's really evil. But they're trying to attack me. They're trying to attack my centre. My core. Help me allow. Kill the kitties. Dead. You are probably done for, sir. This blood accelerator is so good for getting the kitties into a position where they can't do anything. I love it. Kill, 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 kill. Thank you. Awesome. Next wave. We do have a lot of gold, uh, gold now, but as I said, we're not going to upgrade anything more. Because of our limited budget. I mean, we do have... how many slots? Do we have two more slots, I think? Unless there's any more... Okay. So we have two more slots. If we wanted to go overkill, we could put stuff on these, but... But in my last video, I put a Gatling turret up here, and it basically did nothing. Because the angle of attack on that is so bad, it's not worth it. That's why I avoided it this time and put because I originally put the block generator here and this tower up there. It didn't work out well. That's why I've reversed rolls now. That's over there, this over here. That's basically just there to try and catch any stragglers who get through and try and get them in a stun lock state. Four thousand gold! So you can see this time is slowly going up. Focus please. And uh, when it gets to around here, it's gonna trigger the next wave. Which should be right now. Here they come. I don't know what that purple stuff is. They spawn in and the purple poof. Purple poof. Well, pink. I guess it's pink. It's not really purple, is it? Okay, so there is a new enemy incoming. I will show you that to you once they spawn. Once we've dealt with this wave. Lots of standard kitties. We have no chance. Hello, kitty! Awesome. Kill, kill, the, kill the armor, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I'm going to trigger this wave, and then I'm going to go over. So you can see these enemies at the back here, they are very, very slow. So, these are panzers. They are in little safe boxes. They move incredibly slowly. They cost uh, The reward cost for them is exactly the same as... Pew, pew. It's exactly the same as um, Scouts. Is it Scouts or is it Ninjas? I think it's the Ninjas. But these are just basically more heavily armoured. They take a lot more punishment to kill. Can I get out of that and go back please? Thousand gold. No! Oh, stop him! Oh god, that was close. So, as uh, tower defense games go, I personally wasn't sure how well this genre of game would be optimized for VR, but I have to say this is done extremely well. I really like the, when you zoom out, zoom me up, I feel like this. When you zoom out, I really like this tabletop aspect. It's your tabletop overview, like playing a board game. But then you can get all the way in there, get next to the kiddies, into the action. 
you can see these guys here are taking basically no damage from my power. And this is extremely loud, so I'm going to back up and let the game deal with these enemies for me. Those beam lasers should make short work of these. He says, as they take zero damage, so you can see, uh, well, there we go, you can see his health is going down quite rapidly now. Please kill that last one. Can I read these again? I can. I think I'm going to upgrade one. Probably going to be you. I don't know if this is going to push us over the threshold. Upgrade complete. That, um, right, let's, let me just quickly, because I didn't go over that. The focus beam laser. Focus beam for increased range and damage output. So the... Ooh, that's cool. I didn't know about this. Ignite wood and ignite oil. I didn't know there was wooden oil you could set on fire. But the damage has gone up by 50 on that turret, which is presumably good. And now I've lost all uh, all knowledge of how much gold we've actually spent. Here comes three more safe men. Safe men? Safe kiddies. Kiddies in their little boxies. Right, um... Oh, do I risk it? Do I risk upgrading this one as well? Do it. Let's do it. I think it's going to push us over the threshold, but at this point, I know what the I'm final wave is like, it. and I know that we're going to need stronger uh, beam cannons to deal with these little annoyances. Look at him! Oh god, what's happened? I've gone into the world. It's all gone dark. Ah, right, wait. You can see, because these are heavy enemies, this here is not lifting them up. That is all because, as I said, wait. They are too heavy to be lifted up by this. But if I was to make this into a strong blobber, and then after that, a heavy blobber. Um, well, a strong blobber is, I think, the blobs stack. But the more blobs that it gets onto a single target, the more lifting power it has. Well, I have seen one of those chest guys being lifted up once before. I think he might have had two or three blobs on him. But the top, I don't really understand how the targeting works. I'm sure I've already said that. But it's, it seems to just pick random enemies. It's not going after the same one more than once. I guess unless there's only one enemy on screen. But this is the second to two final wave. Three more box boys. Ooh, you actually, you actually damaged him. I'm impressed. So we're not going to trigger the last wave until these three here are dealt with. I do kind of wish there was like a, a speed up function. But, but these buttons here, they don't seem to do anything. Only these ones here that uh, changed the looking direction. Get dusted, son. Get dusted. He has been dusted. Okay, so here comes the final wave. Now, we have five of these box boys. Box kiddies. But we should make short work of all of them. So you can see that these lightly armoured enemies, they're not they're not resistant to um, Yeah, they basically have no immunity because they're only lightly armoured. These guys on the other hand are a bit of a pain, but the lasers are taking might be making short work of them. I wonder if I sell something and it gives me the money back, does that take away from my allowance of 10,000? I actually have no idea. This is where it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit threatening, should I say, because five of them, I mean, these can just about deal with three of them. Five of them is a bit of a problem, especially with these two little boys backing them up. You know them the boys, let's call them kitties. That's what they are, they're kitties. Hopefully we should be fine, though, because that's going to be another one down. They're going to focus him. He should go down any second. They're done. Hey, on to the next one. See, the problem is with these, it takes time for them to heat up. But it, you can see him glowing red and more Control white and mild. Yeah, there we go. Another one got through. This is Mission exactly what happened last time. But funnily enough, it only counts for one. And I understand. We're completing this mission, we get that lovely little fireworks display. No, isn't that pretty? Ooh. One more thing I'm going to note about this is I really like the look of the models from this 
um, elevated view. As I said, it's it's like a board game. You, know, you can see these little pieces. Oh. You can just imagine putting these on a board and watching them kill things as they come in. Really, really cool. Okay, level has been completed. So we're gonna ah, it's flashing, telling us to click this button to finish mission. So yeah, we spent more than ten thousand, which I was thought might happen by upgrading those two um, those two laser turrets. However, that has been Kitty Apocalypse, a power defense game. Um, it's probably going to be the only video I do of this. However, if you would like to see more, please let me know down in the comments section. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. It helps me out a lot. But, until the next Let's Look At, I have been Captain Compromise. Thanks for watching.